<laughs> Yo, what's up everyone? Uh, today's video is going to be really fun. I'm spending the day here at Area 51 Studios recording drums for a friend of mine, Noah Evans. Long-term viewers of the channel will recognise that name because about a year and a half ago I did a studio session with him then. So um, I'm probably not going to film too much today, maybe just some footage of the drum takes. And, and some of Noah doing his thing. But yeah, hope you enjoy. Let's crack on with it. I need to set the kit up. That's always the worst part. And there we go. We are set up. I didn't want to bore you with the, uh, with the whole setup process. You've seen me do that a million times. So let me just talk you through the gear I'm going to be using for today's session. So this is my Tama Hyperdrive kit. Uh, kick drum 22 by 18 I believe. And I'm using the 10 inch Tom because that thing sings. It sounds amazing. I've got the 14 inch floor tom here again. I kind of really favour the smaller floor tom, uh, sorry, the smaller toms on this kit because they just sound amazing. As you can see, I've got the uh, sort of homemade uh, snare dampener thing here, which fits perfectly on the 14 inch floor. Uh, hardware, I've got uh, DW kick drum and hi hat, so that's 3000 series for the hi hat, 5000 for the kick drum. The stands are Tama stands. The thing I love about the Tama stands, right, is let's see if you can actually get this on film. So the, the bit you adjust here, on a lot of models and makes of other hardware, there's just teeth that you have to lock into. And you might get one tooth which is a little bit too far that way and one a little bit too far that way. But these ones are kind of like fluid and you can move it at any angle you want. I love that. DW Hardware does that too. I'd like to upgrade to it one day. Uh, symbols. So for the ride, I'm actually using a 20 inch medium thin Zildjian Crash. This thing actually sounds good as a ride and a crash, so it saves space. Uh, and then my main crash is my little baby here, which is the, the K Sweet Crash 19 inch. This thing is a little beauty. I love it so much. Uh, then hi hats, we've got the 14 inch New Beats. I'd really like to get some K lights to mix in with these just so I've got some, some varied hi hat sounds. And then finally, my little baby, the newest toy in my in my in my toy box is my it's my pork pie 13 by 7. This thing sounds unbelievable. I love it so much. By the way, sorry that this shot's gonna be really grainy. It's quite dark in this room and there's not much lighting. So yeah, that's the gear I'm gonna be using for the session. Gonna be good fun. I'll see you guys in a bizzle. There we go, uh, just finished uh, tracking the drums for Noah. Sorry that there probably wasn't much footage of me actually playing. My camera died, so I've switched to my phone, which is probably why it looks a bit different now. But I'm gonna carry on documenting today, hopefully make a really good video for you. That was the sync you just heard in, in Harley's amazing studio. <laughs> uh, drums sounded great, Amaze balls. I'm so happy with my new snare. I can't get over how good it is. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit, probably when Noah starts tracking his shizzle. <laughs> so Harley, we oui, oui, oui. what are we currently doing? We're done drum for now, we're recording some guitar for Noah. Um, just micing up a tap. What, what setup are we using? We've got a Vox Night Train. Vox Night Train on a head with an Ashtown cab. Um, it's my head, it's the studio's cab, and we're gonna go through the Wampler Plexi Drive. Yes, yeah, sounds awesome, man. Yeah. There's the man himself. <laughs> yeah, my camera died too. Oh, this is Noah, by the way. Hello. He looks a bit older than the last video. <laughs> I'm just trying to embarrass you, man. <laughs> you enjoying your day so far in the studio? I am. Yay. Heard the awesome Rainy Vandal playing drums. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> I've got to say it, man. I absolutely love recording drums. I think it's actually, it's probably, it's not my favorite thing about being a drummer. Not always playing live is the best feeling in the world, but 
there's something about being in the studio and just recording drums so just makes me feel good and there's a good reward at the end because you know something you've played is then sort of around forever and you can listen back to it and, and you do have to work really hard I think a couple of skills if I could give some tips here like skills that make someone a good studio drummer or like a good uh, or even just a good like session drummer right is just being prepared making sure that you know what you're going to play you should never really turn up to a, a recording session thinking oh man what am I going to play here I don't really know what to do so just rehearse the tracks rehearse them to a click make sure you really know everything and, and second of all another great tip I think is just to to really dial in your skills when it comes to tuning the drums right you might turn up to a session where your kit sounds great for when you're jamming but you might get into a, a nice sound um, treated room and the kit suddenly sounds totally different and you need to know how to adjust that on the fly so for example when we got in that room my snare actually sounded a little bit too low for the tracks that we were doing so I brought the tuning up I actually took the down a little bit I took the batter head down and it just seemed to work perfectly in that room and for the tracks that Noah was recording so those are just two little tips to take away from, uh, from me from today uh, and hopefully that helps I mean yeah I'd love to know if you guys actually have been doing some recording sessions or if that's something you do already let me know in the comments let me know what experiences you've had or if there's anything any tips you want any other advice for you know recording in the studio because I'm more than happy to help that's what I'm here for uh, you know I do label myself a drum teacher so if I can teach you guys some stuff that'd be rad so let me know if you need to know anything else about what it's like recording in a studio <laughs> she's doing, she knows it's not fair Always acting like you just don't have a care in the world But you do, but you hate when I ask you She always looks like she's about to say something But then she shrugs it off and acts like it's nothing ah, Well, there we go guys, thank you so much for watching Sorry about the drop in camera quality. As I said, I had to stop filming most of that from my phone because the camera died. But thank you for watching to the end. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and the bell and all of those things because it really does help support me and this channel. Another way you can do that is to purchase one of my t-shirts from the link in the description. But yeah, thank you so much. Uh, thanks to Noah for having me along to record the drums for his new songs. I can't wait to hear the final mixes and for you to release them and I wish you all the success with those tracks. I'll make sure to put some links up to the songs once they are released so you guys can hear exactly what we were up to. There might be a little snippet in my outro here. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to watch another video which will be linked at the end. Leave a comment down below for anything you'd like to see on the channel in the future. And all of the really nice comments get a heart from me and a like. So I'll make sure to reply to all of you guys. Have a brilliant weekend and as per usual, whatever you're doing today, go out and smash it.